Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, where we have got the final key we need to restore Ilya's memory. So let's go give it to her. And also, I will explain once again, I'm still sick, which is not fun, but hopefully it shouldn't be too much longer. I, I really hope not, because I've been sick for more than a week. And that's after less than a week of health between this sickness and my last sickness. It's getting out of hand, and I don't like it. I just want to feel good again, but whatever. It's game time. Do forgive me if I sound different or do anything that maybe reveals my sickness. Yes, yes you did. Uh-huh. We Yeah. Oh. Yep, that's me. I like how Malo is looking on disapprovingly. Oh. Sure. Hooray. Yep. Uh huh. And now we never again have to find horse grass. Uh, sure. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah. So if I just showed her the rod? Yeah, it's me. And I have it. Well, I guess let's get back over there. Safely warp. Warping. Et cetera. Hopefully the town won't have been overrun again. Okay. Let's get over there. And we ride. Certainly not a long ride, but much faster than going any other way. care about you jerks. I'm just leaving. Sorry, Epona. But if they really wanted me to care about you, they would have given you a health meter. Huh. 
so. I don't think I actually brought... Oh, there's no pose here. There's kitties. Oh, that's right. It becomes a cat hide-and-seek game here. As Wolf Link, I think. Hey, lady, I've got the thing. Yeah. It is. Sure. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So you've got a lot of cute little kitties. This place is pretty great because of the kitties. I mean, look at these things. Adorable. Kitties are the best. So who's wanted over here? Not sure who that is. But, I mean, that's a lot of money for the reward. Holy crap, that is one trillion of something. That's a lot. So many kitties. And now that we can wolf it up out here. Okay. I was kind of trying to get over to the cuckoo leader, but I needed to actually do a jump and not just a dash. And also, okay, that's complex. recognize this one either. Maybe I will once I hear the accompaniment. wasn't a song that you played in a previous game. Or maybe it's the Ballad of the Windfish. No. No, this is from this game. Shall I find you? Oh. Can't go there yet. So, if there's no pose here, 
Then where is the last Poe? Maybe in a cave somewhere. Anyway, let's go on a kitty finding adventure. Yeah. Uh huh. Sure. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Now I'm pretty sure they time you for this. I am not going to get a good time. And then we get this shootout music for talking to cats. Delightful. Okay, I guess they don't time you. Hey, kitty. Uh-huh. So many kitties. I know, right? Whoops. I will talk to you, kitty. Don't you worry. And you too. all for this balcony. Kind of wanted to jump to the next one, but apparently that is not doable. Oh. And I'm sure I've talked to you. Yep. Anyone over here? Someone tried to approach me. And then there's you. I guess kitties sure do love being talked to. Uh huh. Any kitties out here? No, just the boss cucko. So, I do believe I'm going to have to become human again if I want to talk to all the kitties. Hi, kitty. Okay, and then let's go out of here. They're meows. I can hardly take it. It's adorable. And then that just leads out. So we're going to need to get across to the other balcony. Which will, once again, require our humanity. So. Up we go. over here. Yeah. How about back here? Nope. Those those are barrels. Barrels are not kitties. Ooh, but arrows are nice. There is a kitty here. Okay. And we've spoken to you. Who meowed? Did we talk to you? No. Okay. Pretty sure we did talk to the other two, though. Anyone back here? We've talked to you. Anyone in here? Yes.
four kitties left. I think there might be one upstairs here. If so, I'm not entirely certain how to get there. Uh-huh. Three to go. Just one more kitty to find. So if it's upstairs there, then that's it. But if it's not, then we'll have troubles. Just gonna talk to both of these just in case. And make sure that I was in fact talking to this one. And you. Okay. And yeah, that's it on this end. So let's get back up to the second floor on that side. Because if we are to get into there, I imagine it'll be by jumping from here. Yep. Sorry, spooked the kitty. Sorry to spook you. Okay. Talk to the kitties. Okay. It's a wonder that the glass was already fixed. Oh, hi. Would you look at that? Excellent. So I don't think playing again actually has any benefit other than getting to talk to all the kitties again. There's a Poe here now. That's good. That means I don't have to search for the last Poe in this province. One must wonder why it only appeared once I satisfied the kitties. Um, that's, that's not helpful. This time, fall somewhere I can actually hit you, you jerk. Excellent. And now we're done with Pose in this province. Just going to confirm that. Yep. Eight out of eight. Over here, we need one more. Not sure exactly where. Over here, we need four more. Two more in this whole area. Again, not sure where. And we're done here. So. And there were never any here. So. I guess you could say we're done with three provinces. But anyway. We have got a guy to show a thing to. So back we go to Kakariko. Again, moving to where no one will see me, transforming, and then going back into Renato's house. Buddy, I got a thing you're going to want to see. Oh. 
Uh, from the old lady. It probably is. But it's missing some letters. Yeah, because it's missing letters. Okay. And now we get to go find all of them. Oh, maybe it was the word. Hooray. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then once we've done all the stuff with them, then we'll be able to open up this one here. So can we warp from here? Ooh, yay, we can now. So, there's one statue up here. So let's go play with that one. Actually, what we're going to be doing for the rest of this episode, playing with statues. <gasps> Which I don't mind because they get you stuff. And I like stuff. So where does this statue need to go? Okay, buddy. Buddy, quit it. So, this statue. Where am I to walk it? Oh, yes, I know. We're supposed to use it to cross something. Where? Over there, maybe? Don't know why it would be all the way over there. Where does this statue need to go? I guess maybe it is all the way over there. If so, that's annoying. Oh, hang on. There was a thing underneath it. Hooray. Hey. No, the... Wait. Statue? Statue? Where did it go? I guess that one wasn't needed for anything. Otherwise, I doubt it would have disappeared. So now we'll warp over to this one. Because I know some of the statues you actually need in order to access certain chests and whatnot. But clearly that one must not have been among them. Because otherwise, that's a real unkind thing to do, having it despawn on me. Like this one, we actually need to get a chest. And we do so by putting it there. And we're gonna get the chest before we investigate the letter just to make sure it doesn't vanish. All right, we actually need to bring it across again. Come, statue friend. chest is ours. Oh. So we're getting two letters out of this statue, I suppose. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like this statue's sticking around. Maybe they had moved the other one to a similarly nearby spot, and I just didn't notice it, because I'm an idiot sometimes. Let's investigate. Because if it is still there, then it must be useful for something. It is, in fact, still there. Ooh, we can fill up on arrows. Well, this is a highly inefficient means of doing so. So, let's bring this statue to the other side, because that's the only place I can think that it would actually be needed, because we can actually just, you know, we can climb up here on our own. So there's got to be something somewhere else for this statue to help us reach. And I imagine that somewhere else may just be the other side of this bridge. I certainly hope so, because otherwise we're taking it a long way for no benefit. That looks like a quick. Oh, maybe we. Yes. We drop the statue down here. And we try not to fall off. And then we can use it to reach that door. There we go. But. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I made the ledge already. So timely, Midna. Sounds like they're running their pigs into walls. Okay, I need to actually jump straight towards it. Almost. Oh, fine, I'll deal with these jerks. Just getting in the way anyway. There. Now can you... Egg. Need to bring it slightly closer, I guess. Oh, there's... Not really much closer to bring. Okay, finally. And there's our chest. Really? There. What do we got? Oh, excellent. So that's it for here. Now we'll go for this one. jerk just in case he wants to give us some arrows or something. He doesn't. Kinda wish I had the ability to just get more arrows easily. Wonder what happens if I shoot all those birds. Probably just rupees. Really, Link? If there's still an enemy that you can target, don't do the flourish. Just don't. 
Okay, now we need to get this owl. And we need to navigate it through this maze of junk. And we'll get it again so that we've got more room to maneuver. And then bring it right about here. And thus we can get to its chest. Hooray. Oh. I didn't need that. And it looks like now I actually have to bring the owl back to the other side so I can actually look at the letter. Hooray for time wasting. Both in terms of getting the treasure in the first place and in terms of the fact that getting the treasure actually caused me to have to spend more time... Getting the treasure first caused me to spend more time putting the owl back. Just truly a delight, this owl. Okay. Yeah, if we jump from here, we should... No, we shouldn't, because Link doesn't grab onto the freaking owls. Okay. There. Link, if you can't make that jump, I will lose all faith in you. Just so you know. It's a good thing we can just pick up letters. Though I imagine that's supposed to represent him pressing the book into it. And then it like magically gets transferred to the book or something. That's my best guess. Anyway, let's ride to the next one, because that'll be a bit faster. Just moving out more into the open. Okay. Oh, wow, you almost bowled us over there. Onward. Not caring one bit for any who would try to harm me. Because they simply are not good enough shots to hit us while we're in motion. Okay. Here we are. Okay, so this one's a bit special. I don't quite remember precisely what I'm supposed to do with it, but we'll find out. Because you see, they've got those vines there for a reason. Let's find out what that reason is. I know it's to get on top of this thing, but... Okay, I know what I'm supposed to do. Uh-huh. So what I do is I just use this very small walkway we've got to... Whoops. Get this thing to a spot roughly in between. And then we can make the jump. For a moment I was thinking we'd have to drop onto it and then like walk on top of it, causing it to move under us, but that wouldn't work. Oh. Okay. Hey. <coughs> Alright, I was thinking there might be a hole to dig into, but there was not. And there is but one more bird to find. It is in the desert. Though, just to make sure... Okay, no, there's also one here. That's right. And none in Oregon. And none up here. And none up here. Okay, so two more birds to find. Might as well get them all. 
going a bit over, but I want to just finish getting them. Because that way we'll pretty much just get to go straight into the dungeon next time. And I like going straight into dungeons. Probably shouldn't have transformed so early, but whatever. It's not too far. And apparently if we keep rolling, those things can't get us. So if memory serves, this one is actually the trickiest to get the chest for. Because first, you'll walk it over to there. And there's no way to get it so that you can hop straight to the chest. So you gotta make use of the platforms you're given. Uh-huh. So what we do is we get over here. And then we walk across to here. Then we get over here. And we walk across to the other side. I mean, they do give you hints with these little elevated bits. But still, it's neat. I actually like this puzzle. So now we'll walk you over here. And then once more, and we can get the chest. Just moving carefully so that I don't fall, because if I fall, I have to restart this process. Oh. Well, that was a waste of time. But then again, it satisfied my curiosity. So, last bird. <laughs> I'm just gonna wander around with this lantern just in case. you never know where you'll find a Poe. I swear, these torches should exist for some reason, but I'm pretty sure it's just to make sure that you can, in fact, use a lantern. It's... Why? Why does nothing happen when you light them? Feels like something should happen. But it never does. And now we can create this shortcut. And before we do, let's go ahead and investigate the thing just in case they would teleport the statue back over here after we put it in its divot. this. Yep. And it is a shortcut, and I think we jumped over where there may have been a chest. Or maybe there's a chest right here. That works. Hooray! And just in case... Okay. Good. 
we don't have to brave the poison mists. So what's down here, if anything? Looks like a place to put a hole. Or just a place to dig up 10 rupees. Okay. Nothing important up here. That's fine. And the statue has moved back to its resting place because reasons. Anyway, we go back to Kakariko one more time. But I think we will do the actual important bit in the next episode. This is a pretty decent place to end it. We've played with all the owl statues out in the world. So yeah. That's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when hopefully we get started on the next dungeon. See you then, friends.